All right, high rollers, if you are heading down to the Rio in the World Series of Poker this summer, you have to. I mean, you have to check out this website, thepokersociety.com. Again, thepokersociety.com. It's amazing. You're going down to play the WSOP. Let's say you bust out early. Then what? Hit the buffet, the bar? No, you got to find another tourney, and this website has it all. Lou Stadler is the owner of the PokerSociety.com. He's at Poker underscore Society on Twitter. Lou, welcome to the show, man. Thanks for being a high roller today. Thank you so much for having me, Derek. I appreciate it. Got to say, I was on the website the other day, again today. It's a simple website, but exactly what you need if you're looking for added value in Vegas this summer. I mean, well done. It's so comprehensive. Good job. Thank you so much. It took a little, it took a couple of minutes there. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a, a long work in progress. But um, the main thing is, like you said, like it, it's simple. There's, it's not rocket science. It's, I'm not reinventing anything. My thought process was, as a tournament poker player, what else is going on if I'm going to bust out of this tournament or if I want to play something different or if I'm not running good here, maybe I can play somewhere else. And there's so much other stuff going on in Vegas aside from WSOP. It's not a slam on WSOP. It just happens to be that there's a lot of tournaments going on at the same time. I'll tell you what. The experience is that you go down and you play the marquee event, which is the World Series of Poker. We all know that. When I go down, I essentially play one event, and that is Omaha High Low Pot Limit, the $1,500 event. Last year, I busted on day two. I went back to the hotel and I got a call from one of the guys that I had made a friendship with at the table we played on day one. He says, are you playing the tournament at the Venetian? I said, what tournament? He says, Omaha 08. I said, you're kidding me. Not only did I not plan and budget for it, but I also had to leave the next day so I couldn't play it. If I knew that tournament was going on, it was only 400 bucks. Maybe I, I stay an extra couple of days and maybe I win that thing. Sure. Yeah, that's um, you put it exactly right. And okay, so I've been going for about seven years now, every summer for you know a week or so, and sometimes longer. And maybe three or four years ago, I had heard that Planet Hollywood was doing their own series, and I didn't know about it until the very, very end of their series. And I went over there and I saw their structure sheets, and it was they had great structures there and really great, like just little affordable tournaments compared to the larger brace of buy-ins. And when you can play in a million dollar guarantee for six hundred dollars or, you know, $300, 100K guarantee, or, or just different stuff to just, like, not have to play in the same room, especially because, you know, also playing at the Rio can be very taxing psychologically when you're in the same place for a long, long time. And so when I saw that, I, I started creating, it was a kind of a combination where I started creating, like, a little mini calendar, an Excel sheet for myself, like, what was going on, and then I would send to a few friends. And then I started doing it, as I reside in South Florida, I started doing one monthly down here for all of our tournament action that's going on in South Florida all the time because down here it's, it's you know poker heaven for tournaments and with that calendar I sent it out to a bunch of people as well down here locally and with the Vegas one I was just you know let me put everything together let's put everything out there just to be clear this is not like a I'm picking certain tournaments no no this is everything so it's like all right whatever you want to do if you're into you know mixed games like you got them if you want to play a daily there it is I did the uh, as much of the satellite information as I could get as well with the structure sheets as well and, and all the biggies too with all the high roller tournaments everything yeah, this is all about uh, finding value and really making your WSOP experience worthwhile, memorable, and action-packed. I mean, you're coming from Florida. There are so many people coming from all over the world. Some are going there just to solely concentrate on poker. And I mean, man, this, this website does have it all. I couldn't believe the number of 08 tournaments on there and at all the different venues, too. Is it like these other hotels, these other casinos really... Uh, jam it up because they know people are coming into town. It must be, right? That's exactly it. They don't really do this more than once or twice throughout the year. I mean, the Venetian is doing a, a two-month series. That's unheard of. They started on May 15th, and they're running through July 23rd. So it's um, I mean, over two months of a series. That's crazy. But, I mean, they know that everyone's going to be in Vegas, and they're looking for something to do during the summer. So one of the cool ones I'm going to check out this year, I don't remember, three or four years ago, I went to go play at Binion's in an event there, and I, I just didn't like it. It was run poorly. The structure wasn't very good. Um, it was a regular text hold event. I don't remember if there was a guarantee on it or not, but it was definitely part of their series. This was like three or four years ago. I want to say it was like $125 buy-in, and I just got to Vegas. It was like the first tournament I went to go play. I was like, let me just get my feet wet and play something. And we were on the bubble for, I mean, we were, no, I'm sorry, we were hand for hand the entire time through the money, which I've never seen before. So that was like a little ridiculous. I'm like, 
oh my god, everything about this is not good. And of course, Binion's is like, you know, poker mecca because of everything that started back in the day with oil and, and the WSP and everything. Well, this year they're doing like a, looks up, on paper it looks great. I'm absolutely going to check it out. And again, this is just like, you, you wouldn't know unless you're doing the research to see what's going on because they're not big on the advertising of it. But they have a pretty cool series this year. They're actually doing 14 events that are all $365 buy-ins with twenty k uh, $20,000 guaranteed prize pools. And they're doing everything. They're doing horse, PLO, eight or better, seven card stud, Raz, stud eight, Omaha. They're doing an Omaha stud mix, limit Omaha eight, and like three MLHs. And it's it sounds great. Twenty k guaranteed, three hundred sixty five dollar buy in, all single day tournaments, thirty k starting stack, and the blinds are they start up at thirty minutes and they'll add at sixty minutes of final table. Like that's a juicy tournament. That's a fun tournament. And you're in Binions, you know. Like I mean, sure. Like hey, let's go old school and go play a, a tournament over there. Also, like. Wow. That sounds awesome. Like, our blinds the whole way through, 60,000 starting stack, 850 bucks, and you're playing in Vinny's like, okay, you know, you get the heads and score there. And it's, uh, that sounds like a great tournament. There's a ton. Like, at Aria, Aria's holds normal dailies, but they don't have any guarantees attached to the dailies for the, uh, I want to say it's like 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. for 400 or 240. The big one at Aria is the WPT 500. For that one, they're hosting seven flights. That starts on Monday, June 26th. I'm sorry, nine flights, nine opening flights, seven regular opening flights, and then two turbo flights on the very last day. That's a 565 buy-in, 15K starting stack, 30-minute blinds on day one, 40 minutes on day two. Bellagio is doing for the high rollers. They have their cup that they do now. This is, I want to say it's the third cup that they're doing. Theirs begins on July 14th. That's a 10K buy-in, 40,000 starting uh, stack at 90-minute blinds. So that's you know juicy blind levels there. Planet Hollywood is my favorite, well, aside from, you know, playing those crazy deep sex in Rio. I love playing a planet. Planet is, it's pretty cool. They do, I think they're doing a total of six this year of what they call their 50K in a day. Just 50K guarantee, $250 buy-in, 15K starting stack, 30-minute blinds. They're doing six of those. Their main event is a million-dollar guarantee prize pool with a $600 buy-in, 20K starting stack, 40-minute blinds. That's on June 4th. The Venetian has a ton of events and it's over a hundred they are doing an omaha eight or better 150k guarantee on friday june 2nd for 600 dollars buy-in and that's actually like a two-day event they have a mid-states poker tour main event on june 5th to the 7th that's a two and a half million guarantee for 1100 buy-in the card player poker tour main on july 17th towards the end of their series is two million dollar buy-in 5k buy-in 25k starting stack with 75 minute blinds and they have a pretty like awesome seniors tournament for the seniors. It's a 50 and over. It's event number 48. It's a multi-day. It's a 400k guarantee for 600 bucks. That's pretty awesome. The win this year, I'm going to go check them out. They're doing a series themselves. It kind of reeks of overlay. In my opinion, it looks like there's going to be some definite overlays over there just from what I'm gauging is how the, the Vegas stuff goes. 100k guarantee daily events. They're doing 12 of them. For wow. $550 buy it. Yeah. They're doing 12 100K dailies, Derek. So that's like, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows that they even have a series. <laughs> they're throwing around like a lot of like like tons of guaranteed money in daily tournaments. It reeks of overlay. The 100Ks are $550 buy-in, 15K guarantee, 30-minute blinds. They're doing two main events, million-dollar um, guarantees for both. The first one is on June 14th, $1,100 buy-in, 20K starting stack, 40-minute blinds. The second one is on July 4th, $1,600 buy-in, 25K starting stack, hour-long blinds. And then they're doing four satellites for each of those. I think uh, the first one is like 200 bucks, and the second one is $300, where one in six get the seat. Golden Nugget. Golden Nugget's an awesome, like, I like I like Golden Nugget slump busting. Like, oh, man, what's going on here? I'm, not, I'm breaking everything at the real. All right, I'm going to the Nugget. Let's <laughs> <do that. laughs> I'm serious. I, I love it. I'll go over there. They have their, their, uh, their little $150 buy-ins every day for 20K guarantee. One o'clock. Starting stack, 30 minute blinds, great structure. It's a nice, like, chill room. I love the structures of the Nugget. They're they're good, they're good structures there. Their main is, you know, main's affordable. Like, their main's a half million, 500K guarantee on Thursday, June 29th. It's a 570 buy in, 25K starting stack, 40 minute blinds. Like, that's a solid tournament. For anybody that's going to play the tag team tournament at the Rio, there's like a tag team practice, I guess, at, at the Nugget on 
Monday, June twelfth at seven o'clock. Two hundred bucks total, not per person for the team. No guarantee on it, but it's a good practice. I want to say that the tag team at the Rio starts the day after. There's a, uh, a ladies event put on by Helix this year at Harrah's. That's the only like event that Harrah's is properly hosting. That's on Thursday, July six, and that's a ten k guarantee, two hundred forty dollar buy in. 20K starting set, 20 minute blinds. I mean, that's just like a portion, like on the website, I have over, I think it's 1,352 events or something ridiculous like that. With all of the saddies, all of the uh, structure links to the structure sheets. Now I'm like updating the results as they come up. So Venetian just started posting the results for their events that have just stopped or that have concluded. And as soon as they're posting them, I'm, I'm covering the hyperlink of what would have been the structure sheet to the results link so that people can see, oh, cool. And I'm putting in like results and parentheses. And yeah, wishing wishing everybody to go run good in Vegas this summer. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, it sounds like you and I are kindred spirits, man. A lot of hard work. You love <laughs> poker. And I'll tell you what, I love what you've done. It's so comprehensive. You mentioned all those places. Again, the website is thepokersociety.com. But there really is something for everybody. And these other casinos are tailoring their events around the WSOP schedule. So if you want to play certain games, there are tournaments there for you. What I like what you've done with the website as well is you mentioned the satellites because Talk about value. If you can get in for the men to win the max, lots of satellites to gain entry into the WSOP. Absolutely. Like that's that's the thing, is that there are so many satellites at the Rio every day, nine AM every morning you can play a satellite for 185 bucks. Now it's a turbo, so you've got ten minute blinds with a five K starting stack, but it's 185 bucks and it's nine o'clock in the morning. So you know, you're gonna <laughs> just get your coffee on. One out of ten gets a fifteen hundred dollar or 1500 bucks worth of lammers and 100 bucks on top of it. So, I mean, that's like a, just a good start that's just available every single day, no matter what. Then at 8 p.m., every single day, they have the way that WSOP is doing it is that at 8 o'clock, it's either 575 or 1100 bucks. If it's 1100 bucks, it's because there's a $10,000 WSOP event the next morning. So, they're giving you basically the savvy option to get in. And so, like, for example, on, uh, on Thursday, June 1st, there's an $1,100 satellite for the seven card stud 10k bracelet the next day and now if it's not a 10k event then it's a 575 buy-in and then with that one you get 5k worth of lammers towards whatever you want but it's just a great way to you know get into something like i I, you know i have this like this this thing about saddies i i love them and like even if you have the bankroll you know if you're not doing anything but you're a poker player why not play it like okay i have the 10k to play the main but if i can get in for a thousand like well do you want to just i mean you could set nine thousand dollars on fire if you like but if you get in for cheaper why not like i don't get it so i I play satellites like i live by them i love them absolutely and you know what i was going to ask you i've always wondered how these uh these lists these calendars are compiled is it some kind of algorithm but i think you've answered man it's a labor of love the poker society.com You launched this, and I know you've got a revamped website coming soon. You're going to have some gear, some calendars in there. Again, thepokersociety.com. But this started in Florida. You love the game. You love tournaments. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people down in Florida, the Sunshine State, they love poker, right? They always seem to do well at the WSOP. Yeah, South Florida ran really good last year. Very, very well. And the main thing about South Florida is that between the Hard Rock Seminole Hard Rock Hollywood and the Isle and Pompano, we're just like beyond lucky down here in South Florida. We have 100K guarantees every weekend for like 150 bucks. And that's no exaggeration. Like every weekend there's a 100K guarantee for like $150 or $350 or 250 bucks, 100K plus every single weekend. We had scenarios down here where three casinos on the same weekend, Derek, are doing 100K guarantees. Wow. <laughs> okay. Like, I mean, we, I'm not even exaggerating. It's crazy. We're, I remember one weekend we had Coconut Creek doing 100K, the Hard Rock is doing 150K, and the Isle is doing 125K, all for like 100, between 125 to $175. And of course, two of them brick, the Hard Rock never does, and the Hard Rock, you know, the Hard Rock covers the other two brick their guarantees. So like down here, there's just a lot of competition between the casinos, and there's a ton of tournament poker. So I've been you know, grinding for about seven years now, just tournaments. I don't play cash or, or any other games. Just, just tourneys is everything for me. But there's enough tourneys down here to play where you can do it full-time for sure. And the cool thing about playing in South Florida is that you go to the Hard Rock to play even a satellite. No exaggeration. Like a regular 11 a.m. tournament at the Hard Rock with, like, you know, no guarantee. 
Monday, or if it's you know PLO on a Wednesday or something, or horse on a Wednesday, you'll find that you are playing with at least, at a very minimum, five to ten of the top five thousand GPI ranked players in the world on Hendon in that tournament, and it's a three table tournament or a four table tournament. Like it's just a lot of grinders have moved down here because of the tournament action, and they're here. So with the calendar stuff, I started doing like my own Excel sheet maybe like four years ago for everything down here in South Florida, just to kind of keep track of everything that was going on, because this is, you know, this is what I love to do. And I wanted to do like a, kind of like create like a poker Facebook type, not a link through Facebook, but like a poker. My idea last year was to do like a social media poker website, where basically you could go onto the website. I was going to you know, do the poker site where you had to log in and the whole thing, and, and essentially like create your own profile, and then you could just chat poker with anybody you want. The idea behind that being that, like, you know, sometimes, like, if you're on Facebook and you want to post, like, a, a poker thing, you know, not all your friends love poker. Man, most people still think poker is, like, this evil game, and, I, you know, I don't see it like that. You know, it's a lot of people don't like to or feel uncomfortable about posting stuff on Facebook or some social media stuff about their poker stuff because other people don't get it. So I thought, okay, well, if there was a social media website that was just dedicated to just poker, and then basically if you're on there, if you want to post a picture of your stack, if you want to say, hey, I'm trying to get you know, uh, backing for blah, 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 or whatever. Like, essentially, like, there you go, like, open avenues to do so. It was difficult to launch it. I tried to do it, but I wasn't cultured in, like, the creation of website stuff myself. So I put a pause button on that. I went to school to start learning to code. I'm in school to learn to code. That's going to take me the rest of my life to learn how to code. <laughs> but, you know, I'm learning it, just, just learning it the best I can, little by little. And I was like, all right, well, you know, I, I know that hopefully by August, September, I'm going to launch like kind of the similar, pretty, pretty much what it is now, but just for like the South Florida monthly calendar, possibly also like a couple other uh, cities and a couple like maybe the tours for like World Poker Tour and WSOP, as far as just like a simple count calendar start like setting with the gear and everything. But basically like just to, you know, get this out there for now, because why not? You know, this is like information that... I, I'm not reinventing the wheel. This isn't like, oh my God, this is genius. No, this is just like awesome. Like, this is what I, this is what I would use if I'm going to Vegas. So I'm like, all right, well, what's going on? Oh, I didn't know there was a 50K at the win today for 400 bucks. Okay, you know what? Let's go. I've never been to the win. Let's go play. Like, you know, that's it. Like, here's everything. And, uh, and make it free and make it public and, you know, let everybody know what's going on. So we shall see, Derek. Well, I'll tell you what, you've done a great job with this uh, this list of tournaments. The whole schedule is absolutely incredible. The website is thepokersociety.com. Check them out on Twitter, at poker underscore society. Lou Stadler is the owner. Good luck with the website, and good luck down in Vegas this summer. Whatever tournament you choose to play, we hope you win it, buddy. Thank you so much, Derek. I really appreciate it, and 